Hey, Jody here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about hell hooks, TIG welding on chrome vanadium wrenches, and 309 filler metal. The hell hook is a product I just added to my store, and it's a, it's a way to hang four different things on your gas cylinder. So, hell is short for helmet. So, you hang your welding helmet, a wrench, purge hose, maybe the cable for your foot pedal. So, I'm going to be modifying a wrench today because I never can find my 12 inch adjustable wrench. And I want, I want a dedicated wrench that will hang on this thing and be there whenever I want to swap out flow meters, swap out my gas hose or anything like that. So I'm going to weld a 11 sixteenths to one end, an inch and an eighth to another. I bought some chrome vanadium wrenches, some inexpensive ones. I'm going to chop up the 11 sixteenths and weld it onto the inch and an eighth. I'll have a dedicated wrench that will hang right on the hell hook. It won't really be good for anything else, so hopefully it will stay there. I'm going to use 309 filler metal, and we'll talk about some other uses for that rod, as well as where you don't want to use it. Let's do it. So I got a couple of wrenches. Both of them say chrome vanadium on them. 11 sixteenths open end, and also an inch and an eighth. That's what most, most regulators are. I do have a couple that are only 25 millimeter, so I actually made two of these. But I only show one for the sake of the video. I've got it clamped down to some little blocks of aluminum, mainly just to hold it in place and to trap the argon so I get really good shielding on the tacks and shielding on the back side. It's going to trap a little argon on the back side of this thing so the second side will weld a lot better if it's not all gray and oxidized. All right, so I'm going to weld this thing trying not to put a tremendous amount of heat into it. I'm going to pump the pedal for a sort of a manual pulse using 309 filler wire, 1 16th, that's 1.6 millimeter diameter. And I'm moving along at a fairly good clip pumping the pedal, trying to push the metal right down into the chamfer that I made. And it's not a tremendous amount of weld, but I did push a little bit of filler rod in there. Now let that cool, hold the post flow over it for a little bit, and then flip it and do the back side. Aluminum's really helping on pulling the heat out, but I don't need it now so much, so I'm just going to leave it off of there and just knock this one out. And that's about all there is to that. Came out looking pretty decent. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test it out. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I welded two of them out, one 25 millimeter, one inch and an eighth. Both of them have 11 16th open faces on there. Both these wrenches, all the wrenches said chrome vanadium, but a lot of times they're not really. So I said earlier that I will talk about a, a situation where you do not want to use 309, and this would be one of them. Uh, this is a zinc coated nut. You don't want to weld with 309 or any stainless rod over zinc plating, galvanized plating, that sort of thing. You can really get some cracking issues when, when chromium and zinc mix. They don't like each other. I did this so that I could put a, another wrench that I welded out of the scrap pieces on here and put a big long cheater bar on it and see if I could snap the weld. So this is the piece I welded these scrap ends and that's a lot of leverage on there along with a, pe a piece of uh, like half inch pipe that's about four feet long. And I'm putting quite a bit of torque on that thing, bowing the cheater quite a bit, and holding up pretty darn good. The 9 rod was originally designed for welding carbon steel to stainless steel, but it's got a lot of other uses. It's a great maintenance rod for welding steels of unknown composition, not for anything critical necessarily, but when you don't exactly know what something is, you, weld, you can almost weld any steel to any other steel in a pinch. For critical applications, you really need to know what the metal's made out of. This is a split shell protective cover. It's pretty cool. You can be compliant by having a cap on here even when you have a uh, flow meter on it. So my wrench here will work just fine. Fits really nice. Like I said, I'm not going to get a whole lot of torque on these brass fittings here. And that's the hell hook. Put my helmet on there and I'll hang this wrench. That's why I welded it like I did so I could hang it on that box end right there. And I can hang several other things like a purge hose and things like that there, depending on what I'm going to do. I hope you found this interesting. You can learn more about the Hell Hook at my online store, which is at weldmonger.com. See you next time.